So now the Nigerian government has made its intentions for the next five years public. The new national security strategy is coming five years after the maiden edition. Although protecting the Nigerian people and its territory is still first on the list of priorities of the government, the economic dimension to security has been given a bigger role. The government says improving the quality of education, lowering illiteracy rates and creating an environment that promotes prosperity will be used to enhance security. Well, to analyze this with me is the chairman of the National Security Strategy Review Committee and a former director of policy and strategy, Ambassador Laiwala Lashende. He joins us live from Abuja. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's look at where we're coming from. How much has been achieved since 2014 when the maiden edition of the National Security Strategy was launched? And, you know, what makes this document, this new document, different? Uh, thank you for inviting me. A lot has been achieved from 2014 to now. You remember <clears throat> by 2014, there were a lot of threats, especially in the Northeast, uh, Boko Haram and some of the other insurgents were very strong. They were holding territory and they were threatening to go into other states apart from the neighboring states of Yobe and um, Adamawa. Um, uh, what has happened is that Boko Haram has been substantially neutralized, defeated. They don't pose the existential threat uh, they used to pose uh, in 2014. Um, the military has done a lot of work by rooting them out. The terrorism itself has not completely disappeared. It's still there and it will remain for some time because Terrorists have changed their tactics. They now use uh, like ambushes and coming in the night and just, you know, taking over some uh, areas. And then after some time, they will withdraw. I mean, they cannot hold on to any territory. And also bombing, striping bombs to themselves and using girls and some agents to do bombing. But even all those things have gone uh, off the radar now, that, that you can say that the Northeast is safe, it's uh, secure, it has been pacified substantially for us to say that there's relative peace in that area. Tell us your thoughts um, about the priorities of the new security strategy. We hear they're, they're looking at the economy to sort of influence or enhance security. Uh, just like the 2014 document, the focus here is human security. Uh, uh, as we said yesterday in our sens sensitization uh, seminar, human security is of key. In the, during the military regime, the emphasis was on government security, regime security. Now, uh, Nigeria and many other countries in the world, uh, prompted by the United Nations, they've moved to uh, human security. And by human security, we mean welfare of the people, food security, job security, and, and uh, peace and general welfare of the people so that uh, we are, they, they, they are sure that they are safe and secure in whatever they are doing. And that is the primary objective of this particular 2019 uh, uh, document. O also, there are other areas of security that are mentioned there, but I just want to emphasize the human aspect, which is very essential, agricultural security, food security, and many other issues. All right, we have one more question which we'll be asking you, but we need to go on break now. We crave your indulgence. Uh, we'll also like to tell our viewers still to come on the program. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, is promising a safer Nigeria this period. Uh, we'll bring you details when we return. We continue with our discussions on the national security strategy. We've been talking with our guest, Ambassador Lashende Laiwola Lashende. We'd like to thank you for your patience and finally ask you uh, the very important question of this document. How do we evolve from a strategic document to the implementation of such strategy? Thank you for that question. Um, like the... NSA said in his speech yesterday, a document without an implementation strategy is worthless. So the sensitization that was done yesterday, the main goal is to make sure that 
all the agencies, security agencies, non-security agencies that are going to drive the, 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 the 2019 National Security Strategy document were there. So it was explained to them what it entails and what they need to do. Each agency has a specific role to play. There is health security. The Ministry of Health has its own uh, program, its own document about how, how to tackle the health challenges in the country. So it has to dovetail into the health security aspect. And, and that the same goes for Ministry of uh, Education. There's education security. There is uh, Ministry of Agri Food Security. There is uh, prisons, uh, custom, immigration. All, all the agencies have various aspects of the 2019 security which they have to implement. And that was explained. That is the first phase of the dissemination of the information. The second phase will involve uh, going to states and going to other uh, universities, agencies, especially agencies like uh, teaching institutions like NIPS, uh, Defense College, and, uh, NIIA, and other government uh, agencies, teaching and research institutions, so that they will understand what it entails and how to help disseminate the information there. All right, I, I want to briefly ask you if um, this is more or less, um, I mean, when, when you look at some of the things that you've talked about, are you also looking to sanction for non-performance or, or this is more a sensitization of uh, some of the goals the administration hopes to, to get to? Briefly. Uh, 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 sanction will be a rather strong word to use. The way it's going to go is that agencies, paramilitary agencies and security agencies under the coordination of NSA will know what they are supposed to do. There will be an, a section in the office of the NSA to monitor the progress of what, the, first, to monitor the understanding of their roles in the implementation of the 2019 security strategy. Thereafter, the, the, the assigned tax as contained in the national security strategy will be worked over with them individually from ministry to ministry to find out what they are doing, what they need to do. Some agencies are already carrying out some of the things that are indicated in the 2019 national security strategy. It's not as if they will start from all beginning. Okay, let, let, let me also explain that in the formulation of this strategy, all the relevant agencies were invited. First, they were written to, to contribute in writing. What is the idea? What are they doing? And what right. are they expected to do? And any impediments that they are facing or experiencing in the discharge or performance of their duties. So that was incorporated. Thereafter, they were all invited to another meeting to, to, to discuss their papers with them and what the office of the NSA intends to do. So it's well, a collective effort. If it's a, every agency, every NGO, including the, the civil society, Claim Foundation, uh, Women's Society, uh, traditional rulers. A lot right. of people were invited and they, they, they had time to put their view about security. If right, there's time, so I will you. tell you about the traditional... Uh, mm, there uh, there isn't, but we appreciate your time. Many thanks, Ambassador Laiwola Lashende. Thank you for your time on Lunchtime Politics.